Iran launches its first satellite into orbit as the country celebrates the 30th anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. The launch marks the first time Iran has used its own domestically produced ballistic technology with a satellite designed for research and telecommunications. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Iran has long held the goal of developing a space program and inaugurated its first space center in 2008. The United States, which has been leading the drive to isolate Tehran over its nuclear ambitions, called the rocket test unfortunate. Well, John joins me now from uh, Tehran. Um, John, you said yourself that um, this will send shivers down uh, Western capitals. I think that was your phrase. Um, is anybody there in Tehran going to be worried if there is indeed this scepticism about its, its space program? Well, I think, to be honest, quite the opposite. President Ahmadinejad wants to use things like this and, of course, the nuclear program to reassert Iran's independence, to say Iran is not a slave to the West, is prepared to do whatever it believes is necessary for its technological and scientific advancement. And sometimes, frankly, with President Ahmadinejad, you sense that he rather likes provoking a reaction in countries that he doesn't like very much. And, and, and I think you touched on this in your report, but presumably it's a very popular thing, this uh, in Iran. Interesting. I've just been out on the street actually trying to get reactions and there's a mixture of, to be honest, scepticism about whether it's really happened. Oh, really? But yes, people saying if it's happened, we're absolutely delighted. All right. We better leave it there, John. Thank you very much. Well, more on Iran's satellite launch now. Joining me from central London is Mark Fitzpatrick. He's a senior fellow for non-proliferation at the International Institute for Strategic Studies. Mark Fitzpatrick, thank you for joining us. Let's just get something uh, clear at the outset. They've got every right, Iran's got every right to put a satellite into space, hasn't it? It hasn't broken any rules. Oh, no, no rules broken at all, no. So, so why, why are people, why apparently are so many people so worried about this? Well, the worry is because it's the same technology to launch a satellite as to launch a ballistic missile. They're both based on the, uh, the Nodong uh, missile technology from North Korea. For uh, a military purpose, it's called a Shahab. For this um, satellite launch, it's called a Sahir. But it's the same uh, basic technology. So, so how much do you know about this technology? I mean, if, if, and there's a big if, if it were to be used for military purposes, what could it achieve? Where could these, could these rockets land, if you see what I mean? Sure. Well, the Shahab has a range of about uh, uh, 1,500 kilometers, uh, carrying a, uh, a payload uh, that, uh, for a, a small nuclear weapon. Now, Iran has, does not, has not developed uh, small nuclear weapons yet, but it might have uh, designs for that. It was working on its own designs, and it's conceivable it got designs from the AQ Khan black market network, which sold uh, similar designs to Libya. So what do you think now? What does this launch uh, do to kind of diplomatic relations? Does it complicate the picture for the Obama administration, do you think? This launch in and of itself, I don't think complicates the picture too much. It represents a further technological advancement uh, for Iran. But how much uh, remains to be seen? Last year, Iran uh, had two uh, satellite test launches, both of which uh, turned out to be less successful than they claimed. They never actually put anything into orbit. And I, I would want to see confirmation that they've actually put something into orbit. But meanwhile, Iran has been working on other kinds of missile developments that are probably more ominous. And its nuclear development program is the most ominous of, of all. But w would you accept, though, that, that the way in which the Obama administration reacts could tell us quite a lot? Uh, I mean, one can guess at what the Bush administration might have said to a thing like this. Well, I, I think they, they might react with some um, mildly phrased uh, words of, of it's a concern. I mean, that's how the Bush administration reacted. And there probably wouldn't be uh, too much difference there. I think we've already seen the Obama administration uh, lay out its initial um, uh, impulse toward engagement in the words that President Obama has been using, an open hand uh, out to Iran. Okay, 